everyone, this is Priscilla from DPI Adventures. Let's talk about the buffet on MSC Magnifica. So we've got five things to review. The cleanliness, the selections, the seating, the freshness, and the layout. So stay tuned, let's dive right in. So for the selection on the Magnifica's buffet, there was a wide range of selections, especially the breakfast and the dinner. Um, the breakfast, there was so many options, whether um, it is like scrambled eggs, um, hard boiled eggs, sunny side up eggs, or eggs on these little skillets, um, sausage, toast, different, different types of breads, um, jams, they had grits, they had oatmeal, they had um, yogurts, fresh fruit, they had anti-pasta things, they had the Mediterranean stuff. There was so many different varieties of um, the types of food that we were able to find on the buffet selection. So. In my opinion, the buffet on um, MSC Magnifica, I give it a solid 10 for their breakfast selections because there was so, so, so much and all of the areas were open. There was plenty of seating um, all the way from the back, the middle, and the front of the buffet selection. There, there were so many and the food, in my opinion, was always fresh. Um, I didn't find anything that was a little weird that I didn't like. Um, you know, everything was really, really good. So that was a definite plus. Um, the cleanliness, it was really clean. Um, you know, the staff kept everything nice and clean. Um, obviously, there would be a little bit of food that's trailed off of their little um, containers um, because people were just being messy, but the staff would be quick to clean everything off. So I give breakfast, um, I think, a solid five on all counts. One out of five, I give it a five on all of the categories because they did great with breakfast. Um, you know, there there wasn't ever anything that I wanted that they didn't have. Um, they had their coffees, they had their juices, so like orange juice, cranberry juice, they had their water, ice, their tea selection, so they had their hot water for their teas. So yeah, MSC a Magnificent did really good with their breakfast, in my opinion. All right, so let's talk about lunch in the buffet. So lunch in the buffet is, in my opinion, kind of like a hit and a miss, um, only because things that I actually wanted, they had, but not the type that I had. Like, I really would want pizza, but they only do a thicker crust pizza, like a, um, like a pan pizza during lunch. It was actually, the pizza was still really good, but I like the more thin crust pizza. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna complain, but you know, I'm not complaining about the food. It just didn't have what I specifically wanted. They had their, you know, Mediterranean selections. So their meats and their cheeses and their olives and um, their like pastas and they would have all of their vegetarian selection out. Their vegetarian is more of, in my opinion, kind of like an Indian flair to it. It was really good though. Um, a lot of it is made from like chickpeas and they would have the rice, they would have just all kinds of things, which I actually really, really enjoy. We actually went back to that area um, a couple of different times and in regards to the vegetarian selection, so the vegetarian selection, they actually had it all the way in the back of the buffet. So right when um, you're about to go sit outside in the back deck, um, you'll see the, 
the kids section is on one side and then the vegetarian selection is on the other which was really good because they would have like some other things of like the Indian foods I believe there was like a fried rice at one point they had pot stickers that were vegetarian so that was really 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 tasty in my opinion um they also did things like um what is it like a, a roast so like a beef roast they would have those they had a lot of fish on this um ship which i actually really appreciated i actually ate nothing but fish one night in the buffet multiple times um but we'll get to that in a little bit but yeah the selection it's a huge selection. The food is really, really fresh. Um, the variety is there. They open up all of the selection, the sections. There's plenty of seating, especially if you go all the way to the back. Um, there's usually a lot of open seatings because people would tend to walk in in the front and get food from the front and just immediately try to sit. So if you go towards the back, you'll find a lot more seating. There's a lot more empty chairs, a lot more empty tables for you to visit. And then plus, if you go all the way to the back, you get to go outside and eat if there's a free table. So bonus to that one. So definitely try to make it all the way out there. Um, they do have a lot of the juices, a lot of the you know coffee still there tea is still there um water and ice um so yeah it's it's all that right there but if you are looking for a bar so for any alcoholic beverages there is actually a bar right there in the buffet also so you can definitely get your your beers your drinks um there i believe there may be two bars um I'm, I'm not so sure we don't drink so you know we never really went up there to to know to ask if it was a full bar or anything like that but i did see people go up there to get drinks so with that said my um five um things that i am reviewing for the lunch i would give the selection maybe a four that's just my personal preference because you know there was a few things that i was looking for that they didn't have or they they had but it wasn't the specific thing that i wanted so i can't you know say that it was negative it was definitely positive it's just i didn't have what i specifically wanted um seating i give it a four lunchtime is you know a big meal for people so some sometimes it was a little bit harder to find an actual seat um cleanliness like i said staff is always around staff is continuously picking things up taking things away making sure that things are clean um the quality the quality is great everything was fresh you know if they were running low on anything they would bring in something new so all five for all of those um, except the seating I give that a four and the selection I also give that a four all right guys before we get into the most important meal of the day which is dinner in the buffet please go in and subscribe and like in our videos and send us any comments or any um, thing that we should do that you guys want to see and we would greatly appreciate it but on to the last meal of the day, which is dinner. So dinner, dinner was definitely really, really, really good. I, I definitely give dinner a solid five because the variety was there. It also has our favorite pizza, which is the regular, more of like a thin crust pizza. Um, they had a lot of seafood dishes. There was a lot of fish on the menu, which was really, really good. Um, there was one meal that I had like baked fish, fried fish, um, all the different kinds of fish. I think they had like fish and chips also. Um, so, so that was really good. Dustin did eat a lot of the vegetarian selection. So he ate a lot of the items that was in the Indian um, selection, which was the vegetarian that he extremely enjoyed. Um, he definitely mentioned that several times that he really enjoyed the vegetarian selection and like the salads and things like that. So they 
you know, all of their meals, they do have their huge salad bars also. Their salad bars were really uh, fresh. They looked great. Um, it, there was nothing that was wilted that I noticed. Um, but the buffet, you know, it was open in all selection, in all sections, and the selections were massive. The area was always, always clean. Uh, obviously, you know, once again, we love MSC staff. We love all of MSC staff and how clean they keep the ship, how nice everyone is. So I give um, the cleanliness a solid 10 because, you know, MSC staff deserves the recognition. Um, seating, there was plenty of seating. Like I said, if you go towards the back of the buffet, there is always a open tables and that's really really cool too and the layout of the the food there's always signs overhead so you can kind of see exactly where you are going you know if you want the desserts there are signs for the desserts if you want the little ice cream soft serve ice cream they had a little section there obviously the little kid section is always in the back and their variety for little kids you know they always had like little burgers um uh hot dogs, they had chicken tenders, they had french fries, they would have some little vegetables, sometimes I saw like mashed potatoes, but the little kid sections, they were always like really cute because they were like little miniature like hot dogs and things like that. So with that said, I mean, I definitely enjoyed it. And to bonus on this is late night, they do have a section open, which is only in the middle. So they would have like pizza and the pizza is a hit in the middle of the night. The line like wraps all the way around. People are waiting 10, 15 minutes just to get slices of pizza. But I'm not sure if a lot of people know is you can actually go back to your room and order room service and uh, uh, get a pizza delivered to you. I want to say the pizza might be like $12 and there is a service fee for them to deliver your food. But I mean, you get a whole pizza delivered to your room or you stand in line and wait 20, 20 minutes, you know, really up to you what your mood is, uh, you know, after a long night. But all in all, I give the buffet five in all categories for dinner and late night snacks, um, which does include their uh, treats too, like their sweets that they have, their cakes and their cookies and whatnot. So I hope this video is really helpful. Um, if you have any other questions, definitely drop them in the comment and I will be happy to answer all the questions for you. But like I said, you know, food on MSC, we've always enjoyed it. Um, I mean, there's usually not too many things that we don't like, but I guess if I was to pick something that I just can't deal with, um, it has to be their lunch pizza. Not my favorite. People do eat it. People still go crazy over it. Lunch pizza, not my favorite. I'm not a thick crust pizza person, so it's hard for me to like that. And so, yeah, with that said, I mean, no complaints other than can we please have regular thin crust pizza for lunch also? Not everybody eats the thick crust pizza, so... MSC, if you're listening, can we get thin crust pizza, please? Hey guys, I hope this video was informative for you. I tried to include everything possible that I think that you guys might be interested in. I am going to be releasing additional content on our Magnifica experience, so definitely stay tuned. We do have several more trips that we have booked and so we were gonna, we are going to be releasing additional content here soon. I will see you later. Once again, I am Priscilla from DPI Adventures. Please like and subscribe to our video. I will see you later.